Let's go, it's the Whitey Show. You dumbass! Start making sense, you rotten book, or you're gonna be sorry. Maybe I'll rip your pages out one by one, or maybe I'll put you in the goddamn furnace. How can someone with such a big, smart brain get hypnotized like a little bitch, huh? Oh, Shadow Lord, I love you, Shadow Lord. Come over here and give Vice a big, sloppy kiss, Shadow Lord. Now pull your head out of your goddamn ass and start fucking helping us! <laughs> The main story really isn't hard to grasp. Basically, the world that Nier is set in is that there's this virus going around, it infects people and slowly kills them, breaks down their body and kills them. And there's also these monsters in the world called Shades, which later on you'll find out what they are, but for now are basically monsters that attack humans. The strongest point is the story because there's so many twists, there's so many turns, there's so many mysteries, and it all comes together really well, though there are different endings you'll have to unlock to get everything. But even if you just read the memos and focus on the story, it is a well done, well told story, well voice acted. I'm very surprised for a Japanese RPG. Everybody's voice, except for maybe one or two, are really well done and you get the emotion through these characters. And all the characters from the main character to the supporting cast from Kanye, Emil, and Wise, who is the talking book, which you'll later find out why he's so important but it's so well done his voice acting is great his dialogue is great and just overall the the dialogue really makes the story very enjoyable and the story itself is really well told and i can't give it enough credit it was just really well told and like i said possibly the only negative thing i could think of is some of the voice acting doesn't come through but overall it is a great story and this is how stories should be told in japanese type games Don't let your guard down. I guess that was a tad obvious. The graphics are kind of half assed in this game. Um, they're definitely not up there with the best looking games and after coming from like some like Final Fantasy or Uncharted or God of War it's definitely a big downgrade however you do have this open world and you gotta give them credit for them uh, making it definitely a different design than most games and it, for that alone I love the design I love the character design the father looks awesome he's old he looks rugged he looks like he's a beat up old guy who fights for his daughter and overall the graphics while they're not on the level and they definitely have some negative things such as the emotions don't really get through sometimes because when you look at their face and you can't even see a smile because the graphic engine is really outdated kind of sucks but I would have to say the design alone does make it nice and it's definitely different from most games but at the same time the graphics definitely could have used the upgrade and easily are the weakest part of the game The gameplay is basically a bunch of different games in one. It gives a Zelda type world where you go around, you go into dungeons, you do puzzles, but it also gives this RPG kind of feeling when you can go into like word edit, basically things you collect during fights after you level up, and they give you special bonuses like more XP or gives you more damage or so on, you get the idea. And uh, there's that RPG feature because you can mix and match all different ones with all different weapons and all that. So that's really cool and definitely an RPG feature plus you level up like I just said and you you know that increases your HP and MP um, you also get these moves in the game from uh, Y the talking book who's basically your MP attacks and uh, this to me is what makes the gameplay different from what I was expecting I was expecting just basically hack and slash over and over again but instead you get all these different magic attacks like uh, lance and you can uh, form these lances and throw them at enemies or you can use this move like phantom where basically he makes a circle around these enemies and then within that circle he'll make a copy of himself and it'll just slash the shit out of all the enemies around him very cool move and then there's a bunch of different moves you can get throughout the game and there's definitely plenty to make it feel refreshing every time you get into a battle because some moves will work with some enemies while some won't and so on not to mention halfway through the game you unlock two-handed weapons and lance and that definitely makes it feel very different from using the one-handed sword You're, it definitely it gives you all new attacks basically and for different enemies each weapon is useful so that's definitely a cool feature and I like that they give it halfway where it makes the game refresh again halfway through and the very very strong part of this game is the boss battles they're very fun they're unique 
Some of them are just average hack and slash until they die, but some you have to do different things, use different magic on certain spots of the enemies, throw grenades inside a monster's mouth, that was actually very funny. But uh, overall, all the bosses are definitely fun to fight, and each one has a finishing move, so that's definitely cool to watch, and some of them are absolutely kick-ass, so the boss battles are the highlight of the whole battle system. The few negative things I have to say is the side missions feel like a waste. They could have made them so much better. Basically, they're making you run from one side of a place to all the way to the other, back and forth, and all they give you is money. Doesn't help the story at all. Very weak part on the side quests. I also feel that I wish, like, when you level up, you unlock new moves with the weapons. Uh, that doesn't really happen. It would have been really cool, but instead they kind of just keep the same basic combos, and you're working with your magic and so on to make different strategies to defeat enemies, but more combos, always a good thing. Definitely something I felt was missing through the gameplay. And while on that subject, for some people it might get a little bit repetitive because it's the same moves over and over again. However, I felt with the boss battles being so frequent that it kind of makes it that every time you finish a few enemies off, you're going to fight a boss, and that definitely makes a unique experience. But it could be repetitive for some, and if they don't like the hack and slash genre, this game won't, you know, change your heart. I truly enjoy Nier. It is probably one of the most surprisingly good games I played this year, or this whole generation. I was expecting a hack and slash. It came from the Drake and Guard developers, and I did like those games, but they had their faults, and they were in like the 7 you know range but this game exceeded my expectations it was much better than i thought it would be and definitely in the eight range because it was great the story was really well told the gameplay was better than i thought and the overall length is a lot longer than you would think and the replayability is very high in this game because not only can you replay it again after you beat the game but you actually get different endings in this game there's four different endings Plus, each time you play, something different happens. Like, the first time you play, you're fighting the bosses, then you just kill them. Second time, they actually talk to you while you're fighting them. So you learn little hints about the main story throughout the second playthrough, third playthrough, fourth playthrough. So you get an idea, you learn the full story about the universe, and a very good idea to make replayability very high. So overall, I really enjoyed Nier. I have very few negative things about it. Like I said, it could get repetitive after a while, and the graphics aren't that amazing. Definitely could have been better. But if you're in it for a story, and you want this... Pretty damn good gameplay. Upgrade from Drake and Guard anyway. Um, definitely check this one out. I would say it's worth the buy because of the length and replayability. And uh, definitely exceed my expectations. And this story is very well told. One of my favorites. I loved it. Great story. Japanese people, please learn from these people. At the same time, if you're a little crybaby, you may not want to pick this up. This is a very depressing story. Sorry, I'm going to shut up now, but it's a great game.